Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to go over how to use OBS, that's the Open Broadcasting Software System, to stream live to Facebook um, or YouTube pre-recorded videos that you might have recorded for your gym or fitness studio. Um, I'm going to go kind of from beginning to end on how to use it. If you have any questions, make sure to post them to the to the comments here so I can understand where I missed so I can record additional videos. And the other um, point I want to make is you'll notice when I'm doing the testing here, I'm 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 doing my live broadcasting to a fake page. So I would highly recommend that before you begin any of this, you create a fake group or you create a group that only your, you and some friends are a member of so you can run some tests as you're beginning to learn how OBS works. <clears throat> because um, honestly, there's nothing worse than going live with a broadcast and the video screwed up or you do something wrong. So it's good to have a fake group or, or a way to broadcast this in such a way that only you and some very few trusted people can um, can witness and you could make sure it's all working right before you go live to the world. So that's gonna be my big recommendation before we begin, but let's dive into it right now. What's up party people? Um, Dan here from Push Press. Uh, I recently was on a podcast, um, the Open Gym Podcast. It was, it was a fun episode and part of what we talked about was how to how to broadcast videos you've pre-recorded as a Facebook Live video. So there's a few reasons you want to do that. One reason is because um, probably a lot of you guys are nervous about going live. I, I am. Um, you trip over your words, you say the wrong thing, and um, it turns into quite an embar embarrassing experience. I think you need to be pretty polished as a speaker to go live. Um, another reason is Recording video is quite a timely process, and in my opinion, it's best to plan it, like all the content you want to shoot, and then record, like spend one day recording everything you can. So you're not like cutting back and forth um, in, in a given work day and being inefficient in that manner. So it's like set aside one day, record 20 things, and then line them up in a content library. So what's key is if you can actually do that with, with videos you want to go live on too, you don't have to do them in the moment. You can record them ahead of time and queue them up and then run them live when you want to go live. So there's a software platform out there that's free. It's actually open source and totally free. That's super cool. And um, I mentioned it in this in the Open Gym podcast and I got hit up by a bunch of people asking me what is that software, how do you use it and all that. And it made me realize that there are some technicalities to actually running this software so I thought I would record a video real quick to explain that. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up a browser and you're going to Google OBS software. Okay, so the first thing that's going to come up is obsproject.com. That is the correct URL of the software you want to use. This is the logo of the software you want to use. It's called the Open Broadcaster Software. And the idea of it is, is it creates a studio that you can stream live um, a bunch of content. It could be li like live off your webcam, it could be pre-recorded video sources, it could be images and, and other things. So it creates a way to kind of mash all that up into one stream that you're gonna stream live. So we're gonna click on that. Um, this is what their website looks like. And what you're gonna see from here is right at the top a way to download it. Okay, so you're gonna pick your platform and then you are going to download this and install it. And what I'm going to show you in a second is, after it downloads and installs, what it looks like. Okay, cool. So if you have downloaded the correct version of OBS Studio, installed it on your computer, and clicked Run, you're going to see a program that looks like this one. Okay, this is OBS Studio. Now, this huge black stage slash canvas in the middle, that's where your videos are going to go. To note, anything that's on this black stage, including all of the blackness itself, is going to stream when you when you stream to Facebook or YouTube. So we want to make sure we adjust the canvas size correctly before we stream, or else you're going to be streaming a bunch of blackness if you if you um, if you don't do it right. So we're gonna we're gonna handle that in a second. I'll show you. Um, so scenes. These are basically think the think of these as like layers on this, or um, I guess yeah, I guess they're layers, controllable controllable layers of of the stream or video. Sources are going to be attached to scenes and they're going to be the actual video sources. So they can be all kinds of different things. As you can see here, it could be, you know, a web browser, it can be images, it can be your webcam, um, or it can be a media source. And a media source basically, if you want to think of it simply, is just a pre-recorded video. So 
we're going to enter a name for that. It's optional. You don't have to. It's just if you start getting a lot of sources, it will help you try and manage it. And then you're going to pick it on the local file. And you're going to pick a movie or a video you've already created. So we'll pick that one. And we're going to hit open, and that's going to load it into the sources, which will put it actually on the stage because I only have one scene. Uh-oh, so it looks like my video has been turned sideways. I don't know why that happened, but there's a way to fix that. We're going to go to Edit, Transform, and we're going to rotate that. Okay, so now here's what I was talking about. See all this blackness on the side? When I go to stream this on Facebook, it's going to stream this entire thing with just a tiny little corner of me on video, so that's not good. So we want to fix that. And you can also see like my video goes beyond the stage two on the bottom, so we're going to fix that as well. So we're going to go to settings, and then video, and then you're going to enter the size of this video. So I think I looked it up before. It is not saved in here, I don't believe. So what we're going to do for this case is we're going to Google the resolution of iPhone 11, which is what I think I have. So 1792 by 828, right? Um, 1792 is going to be the, the, the long way of it, which is going to be this. And so that's going to be the second number, for those of you who are not aware how pix pixels always work with by height. And the other one was 828. Okay. I'm going to trim that down. So I remember this happened to me earlier. Whatever that Google was is not correct. So you can see it's wider. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to continue to edit till I get it to about the right width size, since that is obviously wrong. And I'm going to say, uh, let's try 1028. Closer. So let's call it a day there. We'll say that's close enough. It's uh, clipping a little bit out, but we got most of it out. And now the stage is actually going to show the entire video for what people can see. Okay, so now let's prepare for streaming. Okay, so, oh, one quick tip for this. Um, by default, you're not going to be able to hear this video playing. Um, there's two levels of outputs you have to keep track of. One of just is just the output. So when you stream, everything I'm saying in this video is going to play on the stream, and that's good and that's fine, but I can't hear it as it's streaming, so I don't really know when it's going to end. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to turn on your monitor and you want to have a headphone in your ear. Um, ideally a headphone and not something playing out loud because um, it's just going to be hard to hear both things going on. So you can hit advanced audio properties, see how that's set to monitor off. You're going to hit monitor and output and that will play it in your ear as well as out to the audience when it's time to go. Okay, And make sure this is not checked because that will suppress the audio completely. Okay, next we're going to go into settings and we want to stream this. So we're going to click on stream. You're going to pick the service you want to do. So it's probably either going to be YouTube or Facebook. We're going to pick Facebook. This stays the same and we're going to click this link button here to get a stream key. The stream key is basically a password that tells Facebook who you are when OBS tries to connect and um, stream this live on your account. So you're going to create your stream key. That is going to put it right here. You're going to copy that stream key and you're going to paste it over here. Okay. And you're going to hit OK. Now, all that does is prepare OBS to do the streaming. It isn't actually going to stream anything yet. Okay. Um, I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to write some words about this. So, this is, you know, just uh, talk to your community. That's the video I filmed today. And I'm not going to write any more. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to share this um, on a page that I manage that is not a real page, so nobody can see it. And I might ask you um, to fill out some more information. And we're going to do that. Notice this go live button is grayed out. So this confused me at first. I was like, I want to go live, and I can't because I thought I was streaming, but I wasn't. Uh, it doesn't start trying to stream until you click Start Streaming. So we're going to click Start Streaming here. Okay, 
So there we go, the go live button came up. And um, if I click go live, it's actually gonna go live. Um, but what we're gonna see in a second is, let me click go live. I had to reset these, so let's do this. So we're gonna hit go live. It's going live on my fake page right now. And you'll notice it's just black screen. So the problem of what happened was the video that I had loaded onto the stage actually played all the way through and it's done, right? And because this scene was, the way OBS works is when you select a scene, it automatically starts playing that source. I can't unselect it because it's the only scene I have, so I can't get it to replay. So we are gonna fix that right now. So I'm gonna end this live video session And we're going to start over and fix this problem. So we're going to hit stop streaming on this end too. Okay, cool. So in order to fix this, we're going to create a new scene and we're going to call it the loader. Okay. And notice on this loader scene, we have no sources anymore. If we click back to this scene, we've got that source and see how it started playing it again. And on the loader scene, we've got nothing. Um, so I'm going to click this plus button and I'm going to pick an image. And we're going to create that source, we're going to browse, and then I'm going to pick up a logo. Okay, so that'll be our loading screen. So now when I go live, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it here for a split second, and then I'm going to load this scene. Okay. Uh, most people won't see this when they begin, but if they do, it's actually a nice, subtle, um, a nice, subtle um, intro. Now, this scene transition automatically applies between scenes, so we can pick this fade, and um, if we want, we can make it last longer, and you'll see the difference here when I switch between the two. It'll kind of fade out my logo, so we'll do that, too. So, since I just started and stopped a stream, I've got to get a new key, because those keys are only good once. So I'm going to go back to stream and hit link. And I'm going to create live stream again. It's going to give me a new key. I'm going to copy that over here. It's an important step. Don't forget this or else you'll get confused wondering why you can't stream. And we're going to start streaming again. Okay, now that's connected to this. Um, you can see it's connected to this, this right here. And eventually, um, Oh, I gotta put it on the right one again. So don't, don't forget to do this again, right? Configure it back to the correct place you wanna share it to. Whoa. Okay, and we'll do that. And again, notice Glow Live is gray. So here we go, it's connecting. Okay, there we go, and you'll see the go live button is now available, and we're looking at a black canvas. So what happens, this is confusing too, is this uh, live stream is going to be like 10 to 15 seconds delayed. So when you actually see stuff showing up here, you're going to be 10 or 15 seconds behind. Okay. So what we're going to do is now we're going to click on, it's, it's streaming right now and it's probably just this logo and that's all that's showing. Actually, I got to go live first. I almost forgot. See how confusing this is. So click go live. Right when you click go live, the second you click go live, it's going to start streaming that logo. So you're going to click go live. It's not gonna refresh here right away. And then you're gonna click right into the scene to start the video playing. And then what you're gonna see is once it connects, there's a logo and it fades into me. So you can see this is a little bit delayed. Like that was a good eight to 10 seconds delayed. And now this is your live session. If you turned on the monitoring on this end, you're gonna automatically hear this voice speaking you won't hear it here because this automatically has it shut off by default. Don't turn both of them on. It'll be super confusing because this one will be about eight seconds behind. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to monitor this end of it. And what I like to do is make sure I say goodbye to people when the videos are over. So when I hear that goodbye coming, I hit stop streaming. Once you, let's assume we're at that point, if you hit stop streaming on this end, it will automatically stop streaming on this end once it gets to the end of it. There you go. Okay, now this is your control panel on this side once the live stream is going. So you're going to see people join, you're going to see people asking questions, you're going to see all that stuff from here. 
just make sure you manage the actual broadcasting from here. Okay? All right, cool. So that's the general basics of how to stream from OBS, how to change your stage to correctly fit an iPhone or to correctly fit whatever device you're, you're um, recording your video off of, and um, just how to, how to scale your Facebook Live presence without having to actually go live um, every time because what this allows you to do is to create your videos, edit them, piece them together correctly, make your mistakes, fix them, and then post a polished video live after the fact. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hope this helps you all. If you have any questions, make sure to post it to the comments. See ya.